Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play War Tales. So last time we finally got some white leather and uh, crafted the new weapons. We still need to craft, I think, three more. But at least half of our team now has what's probably like the best in slot weapons. I even didn't fail crafting, so uh, we got the plus two from Perfect Crafts. Uh, I'm really looking forward to like testing those weapons. I wasn't even planning on recording War Tales today, but I'm really looking forward to testing what we got last time. So I decided to record one extra episode. Um, I know they have been saying that we're going to leave Tiltrim for like 10, episode, uh, 10 episodes at this point, but um, with all of these changes, with us getting the, the white leather, all the new weapons, and like being forced to return to Strum Club multiple times, uh, I mean, may as well finish the remaining quest. Uh, oh, there's actually, wait, this is not a quest, this is Undiscovered Location. And locations completed. Huh, so maybe there's a little bit more. Well, there's one location here. What the hell? What did we miss? Is it the jail that I did not visit, like, entered the, the jail? That might be it. But oh, well, let's just, um... Let's just kill the bandits. We'll definitely do that. And I think we will try to find uh, one more nightmare. We need more white leather and just get the materials for at least the level 5 bow. And then we attack the rats. Because if we want to get the maximum out of the rats, we need to have good ranged attacks to like destroy the pillars that are around the, around the, like, the big rat in the middle. Okay, so that's the plan. Uh, if we don't find the nightmare, we'll just leave. If we do, then we get the materials for the bow, return, craft the bow, and then then attack the rats. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... where is it? About the brave here. I'm just gonna learn it. Uh, we need 12-5. We currently have 11 wood, so one more wood, we, how about we get that? We'll probably have to buy it somewhere. And four more leather. Okay, so let's go, let's go this way. Before we set up a camp, I'm at least gonna talk to these guys, just in case. Come on, nope, no leather here. Do we need rope? How much is rope for? I'll actually buy all of it. I'm gonna need it for pythons. So might as well. And one more thing. Oh, we just talked to this group. Okay, never mind then. Uh, set up a camp. I guess no booze this time. And let's find another nightmare. Last time it was quite easy. We had two nightmares. It wasn't the previous episode, but the end of the episode before that. We had two nightmares spawn in like a day. So hopefully we'll get another one today. What the hell is this? Medium armor without crit. No, thank you. Okay, so there are the bandits. Uh, why can't I? 
talk to them. There we go. It's the same thing. Can we catch this caravan? Oh, that's the one that we already talked to. And if we could ambush them, that would be great. Yep, so they are level 5, they have a leader. So we actually can get something here. And they hotfixed... well, hotfixed... They finally fixed, that's probably uh, the way to, to put it. Uh, fix the bomber, so when they're engaged, they finally stop shooting. So this fight should be significantly less annoying uh, because of that. Actually, how many was that? Was like six of them? Is it six versus six? Uh, who goes first? The bomber goes first. And what is the leader giving them? Defense. Huh. Targets uh, an area. Perfect. So it's basically... Uh, it's... Six versus four. Because the... The, the raid... No, six versus five, there's one raider. Okay, I need a tank here. We need to engage the leader. Then I can uh, engage the bomber with with let's say here. They're too far apart, unfortunately. This one... I can ignore this one. So actually give me the opportunity... to engage here but then I won't be able to engage this one ah oh, damn it what if I can't really ignore the leader it's annoying okay whatever we'll just take some damage um, Oh crap, I stepped on, on, on the on the trap that I didn't see. I didn't notice. Actually, I noticed it one moment, but then I was talking about the positioning and forgot about it. Okay, then I can ignore you. I should have moved the archer somewhere else. That's interesting. I thought he would. Oh wait! If he turned this way, he would be attack. He would be hitting one of his own as well. So that's why he moved this way. Okay.
Remember that they all have 30% damage reduction from the uh, from the leader that's not engaged, so <clears throat> that's why the damage seems to be kinda low. There was there was repose. And I will have to take one hit, for, actually two hits from the henchman, unfortunately. Probably not even worth activating the def deflection because they're just gonna reduce the damage from the X throw from the henchman. I think I'll just take it. Yeah, there is the throw. I wouldn't be able to mitigate this really. Because we got taunted. Um, they have the damage reduction up again. Wait, how far can I go? Not quite far enough. Hmm, who goes first? You go first. I hate doing this. This is such a waste uh, against targets when they have have the the reduction. But I don't really have a choice here. Thirty eight may have the damage. Actually, uh, so let's use galvanized troops. I don't think we'll get a better one here. In this fight. Oh right, the damage reduction is not actually calculated. Hmm. Who goes first? He goes first. Come on, crit. Nope. This is worse than the fights that we that uh, we fought before the upgrades.
I think I like really underestimated, well, underestimated the damage reduction. No, I just, the taunt just screwed everything up. I have to make sure this guy dies before he has the opportunity to attack. But I should be able to do that. 52. Actually, I don't have. Ah, oh, without Valor Points. Not really doing anything. I don't want. I'll just make sure we don't get hit by the maze. That would really hurt. There we go. So much damage from this fight. I hope we at least get something useful from the from the leader. Okay, this one already attacked, so I don't really need to use the weakening blow. I'm not sure if this is worth it, but I'll just get the point. Actually, be able to kill him now. Yeah. There we go. These are the numbers that I wanted to see. Ah, uh, Bobby didn't get anything. This is probably the level five drop. It is hundred and twenty percent effectiveness. But it's because there's the useless attack that targets an area. So even the AI is smart enough not to stay in the in the cone. How much? 21 gold. I didn't see the price. Uh don't need the throwing axe. Okay, so the loot is useless unfortunately but at least we got our last character to level five
really not sure if I should go with cruelty or opportunism. What did we get? Plus two constitution. Don't really care about that. I guess I'll take willpower because we don't get just the, the willpower here, we get also the crit. I really, really should just take strength and opportunism. I want to test this. We can apply the debuff effectively immediately uh, to any target. And I could use this like a dual link tank because the other one, that's like the frontline tank that just sits somewhere, doesn't do that much damage. Well, I, I didn't build it correctly because I think for the other tank I picked up armor breaker and if I wanted the proper tank I should have taken opportunism and have a tank that can sit on the front line with maximum damage reduction uh, tank as much damage while the other characters do uh, like kill the enemy this would be a tank that's like basically holding the flank and whatever comes from the flank he stops or she stops and kills I don't think that I can reset the builds anywhere but if I could I would actually do it and rework the other tank at least okay let's fix everything What, what do we get? Reputable mercenaries. Oh, hey. Nightmare. Do we go in with zero weller? It's an interesting question. But if I set up a camp. You're gonna lose it. The fog doesn't really last that long. No, 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 no. I'm also not sure that we probably would be able to fight before the fatigue dropped too low. But this is one fight where I definitely don't want to risk it. And it's gone. <sighs> that sucks. What is that? Wolves. Okay, we need to fight wolves. We need food. That's a huge pack. Level six, nice. How many hit points do they have on level six? And can we somehow split them up? One, two, three, four, five. be possible to kite these probably not four of them uh, 
still might be fast enough. Nope. Missing half a meter. Perfect. Actually, it doesn't feel better. We can move first. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Mm. Where do we engage? I could try to move into the center with the X. Okay, do I need to attack again? I probably want that weakening blow on them or on him. And of course I use the attacks in the wrong order. I'll have to remember that you know I have one tank uh, that uh, uh, needs to apply the debuff first. Can't get there. Damn it. Well, that changes a lot. Can I? Get out of the way fast enough. No, unfortunately I can't. So I think Wait, I can just burn two points. That that's probably the best option that I have here. Activate aim. Knock the wolf back. Okay, this should work. Perfect. Okay, so that's not what I want. Moving here. Oh. I could do that, maybe. How fast are you? Wait, he can't reach anyone? Wait. 
What about you? You can. But since this wolf can't reach anyone, I can just leave our cutthroat in place. Not sure I'll be able to... Come on, move. I hit both of them, but I should be able to. Okay, good. Wait, this wolf still didn't move. I knew that there will be something. Okay, if I move out of here, he'll be able to attack. Damn it. Would it be possible to somehow kill him? Probably not. I need a good hit. 13, that's not a good hit. Needed like 20. Or crit here. Well, it wasn't crit, but it's it's a kill, so I guess I'll take it. Fortunately, I had to burn one of the uh, one of the orange water points. That was painful. I could kill this one, and I probably should. the damage I should have the damage to do 46 oh. eh. it's gonna be close and if I fail then it's really gonna hurt so maybe it's better to just play it safe I want to take as little damage as possible because I still would like to attack the nightmare or if we find a nightmare of course I'd like to attack it How fast are you? Mm, 
I can't really get into the correct position for the Taurus. Probably just stay somewhere around here. Activate protection. Fighting with six people is actually more difficult than fighting with five. Because I can't um, have my people on one side right from the start. I mean, here it. I managed to somehow pull it off. Uh, but I just have too many people to worry about. At this point, it might be better to just go for like 12. And the problem with that is that with more people, all of the fights are just so much longer. Yeah, that would be a waste. I need this wolf to get into... Oh, he just not getting into better position. So who is next? Of course he goes first. God damn it. And I managed to block myself here. Oh, I'm playing like an idiot today. Like, so bad. I unfortunately can't check the, the, the distance I'd be able to cover with aim. I can't even check the distance that I will be able to travel. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. By far the easiest way. Surprising low low damage from the, from the bow. Yeah, I don't want to do anything. I know that we still have the tier three bow, but I expected more. Okay, how much food do we get here? That's not bad. I thought we didn't have any uh, material for repairs. We still have 
Nine. Okay, great. So we can fix everything. And with three water points. It's still the same caravan. Go away. I'm gonna sell you more items. And please just disappear somewhere. Yeah, I think we're just gonna attack. I'm gonna do it next time. We have three points, that's fine. The gear is fully repaired. Uh, we should have enough stamina to, to do it. We just need to find the wood somewhere. That's going to be the biggest problem. We need one wood, and I have no idea where we're going to get it. That's the same thing over and over again. So I'll just make a cut here. This definitely wasn't what I was planning. But at least we know that we're gonna have the the nightmare ready for the next episode. And um, this time it should be easier than the previous fight. The damage is better when I don't play like a moron. Um, I'm not sure what, what it was today. I really wasn't playing well. But next time we get the materials, we get our bow and then we attack rats, try to get the maximum out, out of that. We need uh, the rats, uh, the, the rats, not the rats, the brains to buy some, uh, some crafting recipes for the future. And then we find a leaf tiltron, something that I've been talking about for, as I said, like 10 episodes. But well, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.